Momentum, TEDx University of Piraeus 2020. One of the issues that concerns us in our daily lives has to do with the way people see us, and I'm not only referring to our appearance. Some of the questions we might be pondering on are, do my friends really like me? What about my colleagues? Are they ignoring me today, or are they talking behind my back? Why are we so obsessed with what other individuals think of us? Let's take social media, for example. After trying really hard to take that perfect shot of yourself, posting it online, and receiving only a few likes, you start to doubt your own worth. That feeling of unworthiness and disappointment starts to sink in. So, what do most people do? They try even harder. They post even more pictures, this time with a different setting. Hairstyle, even makeup. And they get similar results. How about work? You do your best to meet deadlines, skip your lunch breaks, even stay in the office till late at night instead of going home to your loved ones, and all this to get a simple good job from your employer, if he actually takes notice of your hard efforts at all. We live in a society that is structured in such a way that we seek each other's approval of our actions, our efforts, and, disappointingly, for being ourselves. Acceptance has become a major concern for the majority of the world's population, but why has this become such an issue? Society is unfortunately structured based on elements such as race, religion, social background, gender, and of course there's so many more factors I haven't even mentioned. Being different in the eyes of others may lead to rejection. In order to counter that rejection, we try to prove them otherwise, by adjusting our actions, our way of thinking to theirs. In some other cases, we might try to conceal some information in order to achieve this. Let's take myself for example. Throughout my whole life, I have strived to become a successful individual. I have been teaching English for the past 17 years, and I have had the privilege of earning the love and respect of my children. But that wasn't enough. You see, I always felt insecure about how others would see me, or how others would react once they'd get to know me a bit better. So, what did I do? I worked hard, really hard, and it was through this hard work that I tried to earn the respect of others, when in reality, I didn't respect myself to begin with. As an author, I'd stay up late at night to write my books. As a part-time model, I do as many photo shoots as I could, answer dozens of messages on my blog, run from class to class, correct my students' homework, and you get the picture. I was burning myself out faster than a candle, but I wouldn't stop because I was always afraid of what others would think of me. You see, fear of being rejected is an illness. That feeling of insecurity is like a knife, and it hurts a lot. How many of you have lost sleep because you thought that someone stopped respecting you, or because someone unfollowed you on social media? I had issues sleeping, and that took a toll on me. To tell you the truth, I had a secret, a secret I tried really hard to hide from the whole world until one day I literally burst like a balloon. This all occurred at one of the schools I used to work at. The feelings working there were mixed. On the one hand, I received incredible love from my students. On the other, although I did get along well with some of my colleagues, I also experienced contempt, disregard, and ridicule by others. Despite all my efforts, both professionally and personally, I failed to be included in their social circle. This took a huge toll on me, both physically and emotionally. One day, after a heated altercation with one of them, I had finally reached my limits. I just couldn't take it anymore. I ran to my classroom, and I burst into tears. Everything I did to impress them, to earn their respect, was pointless. To my surprise, a few of my students had arrived earlier than expected. I had no intention of them seeing me like this, 
broken, in despair. My makeup had fallen apart. Upon seeing me this way, my kids rushed to my side and asked me what had happened. At this point, I was convinced that the powerful image I promoted, their confidence in me, the inspiration I instilled, was all gone. After repeatedly asking me what had happened, I finally opened my heart to my kids and said, I am a transgender woman, and I am constantly afraid that they'll take you away from me. Before continuing with my story, I'd like to share a few things with you. I am the first transgender teacher in this country, employed in the private sector. I was never ashamed of who I am. However, I was always afraid of losing my job due to my gender identity. You know, one of my former employers even threatened me once. I remember he called me to his office one afternoon and told me that if word came out that I was transgender, he would immediately fire me. What was I supposed to do without a job? How was I to survive? What about my HRT? Hormones can be quite expensive, not to mention all the doctors you have to pay every month. What about my students? Would they allow me to ever see them again? Being transgender in today's demanding job market can be intimidating. And even though discrimination and rejection were a constant fear, I came to realize that something else was holding me back and dictated my life. This was lack of acceptance on my part. I am a proud woman. I love my job and I do not regret my choices in life. My issue wasn't accepting myself as a woman. My issue was accepting myself as an individual, as I would always allow others to make me feel guilty for being myself. After telling my students I was transgender, I was definitely sure that they were disappointed in me, maybe even frustrated. My students, though, didn't leave my side, and I remember one of them, with the most beautiful smile in the world, looked at me in the eyes and with a sigh of relief said, Oh, is that all? We thought something bad happened to you. We love you for who you are. You don't have to prove anything to us. Yeah, I love my students. It's amazing how we always assume what others might be thinking of us. My students never stopped loving me, and I should have been more trusting. That crucial moment in my life changed the way I saw things, and I finally gained my own momentum. I started re-examining my life and how I interacted with others. I was now determined to love respect and accept myself. You see, acceptance has nothing to do with how many hours you work or how many followers you have on social media. Acceptance has to do with acknowledging your own limits and coming to the realization that there are people out there who love you unconditionally. Upon reaching this conclusion, I decided to make drastic changes in my life. I stopped trying to impress others and paid less attention to what people thought of me. Yes, I'll admit it, it was really hard at first, but after time, I started feeling whole, more confident, and of course, happier. We all have to realize that each and every one of us are like snowflakes. We are all unique, not only in appearance, but in our way of thinking, our beliefs, our desires, and our aspirations. It's impossible to conform to the standards of acceptance placed upon us. What is possible is to leave a positive mark on society, to inspire others, and to make sure our children inherit a better world. And I know it's difficult to change our way of thinking. Our lives have become intricately intertwined with social media, which promotes social acceptance in a horrible way. We can't allow our value to be dictated by how many likes we receive or to let others judge us for who we are. We sometimes read very harsh comments online or even worse, receive them in person. Society can be cruel, unfair, and unforgiving. But does this mean that we should give up? 
Allow me to indirectly quote one of my most beloved cinematic characters of all time, Rocky Balboa, played by Sylvester Stallone. The world is a mean and nasty place. No matter how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. No one hits as hard as life, but it is about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. The moment you stand up for who you are, acknowledge your own worth, and come to the realization that you don't have to prove anything to anyone, you will be one step closer to true happiness. A winner. That is the true meaning of acceptance. And you know, even today, I might be commuting to work, or I might go out for a beverage with friends, and I will notice people staring at me, some even giggling. Some people are even afraid of touching me. I remember the most bizarre experience I've ever had in my life. I was once introduced to a young woman who shook my hand, and after a while, she was informed of my gender identity. She then panicked and complained about it. It still hurts to think of occurrences such as these, However, my life has changed for the better. When I'm out, I might run into one of my students who would jump into my arms and embrace me. I am fortunate to have the love of my parents, something that has given me incredible strength in life. Every Friday night, I will go dancing with my friends, a constant reminder I am healthy and alive. I pursue traveling because I wish to broaden my horizons and meet wonderful new people. Whenever I have the opportunity, I will go to the beach because I love to watch the sunset and splash my feet in the water. I will go pick roses from my mother's garden because I love flowers and they remind me of her. While recovering from a serious knee injury, my students would rush to my side, carry my books and help me reach my classroom. Thanks guys. My heart simply melts each time my father slips my favorite chocolate bar in my purse, kisses me on the forehead, gives me a huge hug, and wishes me a good day at work. I watch as my students grow up and start families of their own, and even though the years pass, they always find the time to call me or send me a message. I enjoyed myself at my goddaughter's wedding, and we danced together to the morning light and I am eternally grateful for having her by my side. I stood proudly as I watched my students give their own speeches for their TED Ed clubs. And I am here today at last, fulfilling my own promise to speak for TEDx. I had forgotten how precious all these moments were as I was focusing all my energy on what others thought of me and how to earn their approval. We forget what's important in life as we let each day slip by without paying attention to what truly matters, which is our own well-being. Find your own momentum. Pursue your goals in life. Figure out what defines you as an individual and accept yourself for who you are. If every member of society did this, the world would be a much better place. Nothing is beyond our reach, and I know what you're thinking, that this all sounds like a dream. Well, the future is built on dreams. Thank you.